Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K15 My Career Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. We are joining a match a couple minutes into this one between The Beast and Ray Rich right now. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of an error in the opening stages of the video, so I had to cut that out, and we join into this matchup just a couple of minutes into it, so we haven't really, really missed too much just quite yet. So, The Beast versus Ray Rich right here on my career mode. The Beast, this is his first match here on Superstars, finally getting on Superstars, finally making his debut. I guess it's time to finally, finally legitimize The Beast. I mean... He had to ordeal, go through a huge ordeal with the four title matches in a row, four successful title defenses. He was very, very good there, and I guess he proved that he can hang with the best of the best by defending his title four times on NXT. Now he's moved up to the main roster. He's now finally here on, Sma on Superstars, I should say, and he's still the NXT champion, and he's looking to make a great impression in his first Superstars matchup here tonight as he comes up against Ray Rich. A man that we have seen some of in the past as well. So it's good to kind of re, uh, relive this little bit of a rivalry we had. A little bit of history between Ray Rich and the Beast. And uh, you'll notice I did make a little bit of a change to the trunks of the Beast. We have the BPZ logo officially on his trunks. So I thought it was pretty cool on his, uh, his pants or whatever you want to call it, his shorts. So I thought it was pretty cool. I finally uh, got around to getting a good copy of my logo uploading it online and uh, getting it for my, for the for the beast so who knows I might even upload the the logo for everybody else to use as well so if that's something you'd be interested in let me know I still want to do the whole beast how to make him thing um, the reason why I haven't changed or haven't done that yet is because I still want to kind of make some changes to him I'm still not quite sure on the final design of the beast and I want to make sure that I have that before I go ahead and uh, upload how to make him online so bear with me with, with that but when I do finally decide what I want to do with him I will put a tutorial on how to make him and plus I will upload him onto the uh, PlayStation Network community community creations as well so you could just download him if you like so that should be something cool if you're a fan of the Beast uh, you can pick him up soon so that is coming and there's a big spear from the Beast on Ray Rich. Here's the cover. Surely that is it. Two. Th oh no, he kicks out at two. Ray Rich, how? Unfortunately for the Beast, we've seen him deliver that spear to perfection time and time again, but we haven't really seen him get the pinfall with it. But this might get the pinfall. That's the Beast Bomb. Look at that move. Absolutely drilling Ray Rich into the mat. Surely that's enough. And a rope break. The Beast making a little bit of a mistake there. Didn't realize how close Ray Rich was to the ropes. Rich able to grab onto the ropes and get himself out of that predicament. And the Beast making a major mistake here on Superstars on his debut. So that could cost him the match. But there's a huge clothesline turning him inside out. Wow. Here's the cover again. Surely that's enough. And Rich kicks out again to his credit. He's taken some punishment, and he still finds a way, still digging deep to kind of stay alive in this match, but the Beast not able to put him away. And there's another great maneuver there from the Beast as well. So, good start to this matchup from the Beast, and he's feeling it right now. You surely think the Beast has got this one in the bag. Cover, two. Kick out of two again from Rich. The Beast unable to put his opponent away. And that's been a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a, a bad situation for the Beast in a many of occasions. I mean, the Beast has hit his finishes and signatures and hasn't been able to put his opponent away a couple of times. I don't know whether it's just his finishes are not good enough or his opponents are good enough to kick out. Whatever the case may be, the Beast has got something to worry about there. Two! And a kick out again. So the Beast isn't able to really put his opponents away in the first attempt. So he has to, I suppose, deliver more damage before he goes for his big maneuver. I don't know what his problem is, but uh, certainly he has struggled in that regard a little bit as right now he's stopping away on Ray Rich. He's already hit his finishes and signatures. So right now he has to try and find another way to, to hit those maneuvers or try something different. And at the moment he's going for a couple of strikes, but Rich counters. And now Rich is getting a bit of momentum with the side suplex. Down goes the Beast. That he could be in a little bit of trouble here as he rolls out of harm's way. And the Beast went for the big haymaker, but Rich was good enough to duck and hit the drop kick to perfection. 
But now the beast has finally got him. And we may be seeing that brain buster. Yes, there it is. And surely that's enough. His brains have been scrambled. And oh my. Wow, how close do you want to keep it? How close do you want to get it to, to, to a three count? So close. It's so far away. And a power bomb from the beast. Throwing Rich into the mat. Is this enough? Two. And another kick out by Ray Rich. Wow. This kid, he certainly does not want to give up that easily. What's he got now? Another brain buster? Yes, there it is again. Is that enough now? The brain buster the second time. He's feeling it. Ray Rich back to his feet. What has the beast got for us? Spine buster. That could be enough. Has that rattled the ribcage of Ray Rich? And no, again, he kicks out a two. How is he doing this? I thought for sure the spine buster was enough. Look at those big shots. That right, and now the left. And now, the gut wrench suplex. The beast's other signature maneuver. Two, three, that's enough, finally. The beast puts Ray Rich away, gets the three count, and wins his superstar's debut. There's the spear earlier on in this matchup. And we've seen some great maneuvers from the Beast in this match. You know, the big power bomb, the Beast bomb, and the gut wrench suplex at the end, and the big clotheslines. The Beast is certainly very, very strong in this match. Took a while to beat Ray Rich, though. To Ray Rich's credit, he was good enough. But the Beast, he is certainly looking very, very good. Still undefeated here in my career mode. Can he keep that up as we follow the... The career of the beast, we will find out. And how did we go? Four and a half star matchup. It certainly was a pretty good one. And uh, Ray Rich, you know, look, he thinks he's pretty good. But uh, look, we beat you, Ray. We're still, we're, we've got one up on you now, son. We are the NXT champion. We're looking to make bigger inroads very, very soon here in uh, the WWE. So, good match up there against Ray Rich. We did pretty well. We got a little bit of SP to use before we do more, progress on to our next matchup. And we'll go ahead and do that right now. So, we'll increase our attributes again. And uh, at the moment, with, with what we're doing with the attributes, we're pretty much just trying to increase everything that needs to be increasing. Everything that's down in that lower tier needs to bump up a little bit, especially the things that don't cost a lot of SP to use. I'm making sure that I do kind of bump them up to that 60 mark at least before I, uh, you know, before I neglect it, before I try and go and increase some of our more important things. I still want to make sure the beast is well-rounded so we don't get found out in various situations because there is a lot of ways that the beast is struggling at the moment. You know, he does no submission game. He's got no aerial offense. So we do need to try and improve those areas to make sure the beast is more well-rounded. And uh, if he does come up into a situation where he needs to be proficient in those areas uh, we need to make sure that he has the skills to be able to pull off those maneuvers and if he's not well then we could get found out could cost us the match and that's exactly what we do not want so we need to make sure the beast is an all-rounder at say the least of course focus on his power maneuvers and focus on what makes him the beast but we need to also make sure that we don't neglect other areas of his style as well so we currently have 11,000 VC, or nearly 12,000. So what I plan on doing next is saving up to get 15,000. And uh, look, look, we're still the NXT champion. We still have to defend it, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, Vicky. Okay, so our next matchup is against Jack Swagger. Okay, the Beast and Swagger. Now that'll be a good matchup. And speaking of Jack Swagger, I was about to say, he's the one guy that I want to train with. I want to train with him. It's going to cost 15,000 VC. So he's going to be the man that I do, in fact, train with because I want the gut wrench power bomb. Now, if you've, if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time or you know me per, a little bit more than, you know, just uh, what you see in the videos, you'll know the gut wrench power bomb of all you guys that watch me on Twitch. You'll know the gut, gut wrench power bomb is my favorite wrestling maneuver. I just, for some reason, I just love it. It's just a great maneuver. I, and, um... Jack Swagger is the man I need to train with to get that move. So, 15,000 VC is the cost. I'm going to do it, and I will activate that probably as my second finish. Oh, well, 
And though I will probably replace the Gut Wrench Suplex for the Gut Wrench Powerbomb. And I still want to have a submission as my second finisher. So I will then start to save up so we can buy the second fi second finisher. And then we will activate a submission in there and uh, get that done very soon. As Swagger and the Beast at the moment. So we might even get to see the Gut Wrench Powerbomb. A couple of moves that we will be learning from Swagger very soon in action here in this matchup. Once again on Superstars, our second matchup. Which is good to see, good to us to uh, get a couple of opportunities here on Superstars rather than being in NXT. I mean, I guess it's good to be on NXT, good to have that opportunity to be NXT champion and working hard down there. But you want to have that uh, main roster exposure. Whether it's on main event, whether it's on Superstars or Smackdown Raw, it doesn't matter. As long as you're on the main show, I guess that's all that kind of matters. You know, you get yourself out there, you get your self an opportunity to show the fans what you can do and that's what we're trying to do here against Jack Swagger and so far so good as a big elbow drop to Swagger follows up with a kick as well and another one but Swagger rolling out of harm's way but there's a big lariat there a big clothesline just kind of spinning around hitting it right on the chin of Swagger and a leg drop as well to follow it up so the beast looking so so far so good in this matchup and for the Beast's sake, he'll want to hope that he can put Swagger away a little bit more easier than what he had to do with Ray Rich. Ray Rich did put up a huge fight. And I'm sure the Beast will want to make sure that he can just get, deal with Swagger much, much quicker. And look at that clothesline again. That is brutal. I love it. The Beast not afraid to hit his opponents and hit his opponents hard. Beautiful stuff there from the Beast. So as I was saying, I was going to say that uh, the Beast, I mean, he's looking very good at the moment so far. I mean, he's had a good start here on Superstars. He won his first match against Ray Rich, but he did struggle a little bit to put him away. He puts Jack Swagger away easier. That'll send a bit more of a bigger statement to the locker room. And, you know, he had a tough match on his debut. He'd have a dominant victory here against Swagger. I think that might set him up for bigger and better things here in the WWE so far. So, so far, so good for the Beast against Swagger. He is got the momentum behind him. He is kind of pretty much dominating Swagger at this stage with the knee to the midsection there by Swagger, who's trying to get himself back in this one. But the Beast just countering and reversing everything Swagger has to offer. And Swagger's up. We might see that Brain Buster. There it is, that Brain Buster on Jack Swagger. And he is in a lot of trouble right now. The Beast is setting him up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Swagger's in big trouble, here comes the Beast, oh, there's the Spear, Jack Swagger meeting the Beast at full force, and what has the Beast got in store for us now, he hit the Spear, what's next, Swagger in trouble, went for the clothesline, but Swagger getting himself out of harm's way, picking him up and just slamming him down, and that could be a momentum changer for the Beast there, so nice work there from Swagger. You have to commend him for being able to pull that off. And now he's in the corner, and the Beast is drilling those shoulders into the mid into the midsection and the rib cage of Jack Swagger. And uh oh, here we go! Gut wrench, pow! Oh, sorry, suplex. The power bomb's coming, but that's the suplex. Cover two. No, he kicks out at two. Swagger, good enough. He knows everything to do with gut wrenches, so of course he's going to kick out of that. But can he kick out of the Beast Bomb? Here we go! The Beast Bomb to Jack Swagger. And that should be enough to count to three, let alone a hundred. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Two, three. It's lights out. It's curtains. It's the Beast with his hands raised. He is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. His second match here on Superstars. His second match victory here on superstars big victory for the beast so far so good can he keep the momentum going can he continue to dominate i tell you what i think it's that logo on the shorts that might be the difference at the moment big match up there from the beast getting a victory over a former world champion that's always great to see and a big win indeed as we move on We'll go and check out how exactly we did a four-star matchup. Not too bad. We've almost got the 15,000. One more match until we get there. So not too far away from getting ourselves a couple of new maneuvers to add to our arsenal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for today's episode of WWE 2K15 My Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. 
And uh, big victory against Jack Swagger. Plenty more to come. Stay tuned for next episode. We will be defending our NXT Championship against Damian Sandow. Big, big episode coming up as we make a couple of changes to our attributes before we go. So make sure you do leave a like on the video. Make sure you leave any suggestions you have for the series. And I hope you guys do enjoy the series so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm starting to really get into my career mode. I'm actually really starting to enjoy it now. I wasn't really digging it at first. Starting to like it. Starting to enjoy it. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you all next episode coming up real soon.